Hey guys, beautiful sunset tonight. Good evening to try something new. Tonight I wanna to try dipping some of my Veg 10 leather projects in hot wax. Let me tell you why that makes me nervous, especially for knife sheets. So here's a wallet project from a recent video. Um, I actually ended up cutting these half circles in here to help me slide cards and cash in and out of here. But this is a typical veg tan. Um, I was able to even mold this pocket to fit two cards perfectly. And that's the benefits of veg tan. And I've always really loved the natural look of veg tan and how it gets a patina over time. So I usually don't dye my projects. Now this piece of veg tan leather, I just dipped in wax 10 minutes ago, and you can see how drastically the color change was. So that's one reason you might not want to dip your projects in wax. A veg tan that's saturated with wax, a wax treated veg tan, it's very stiff. It holds its shape really well. It's even stiffer than a regular piece of veg tan would be. But if you bend it, it tends to stay bent more than a normal piece of veg tan leather would. So I worry that if I were to take my wet molded leather sheath and dip it in wax, that my knife would not fit as tight because these curves in the veg tan would not rebound to their molded shape. And as I continue to take this knife in and out, eventually this sheath will develop channels that follow the path of this knife as it moves in and out of the sheath. And it may not hold the knife in there as well. So this is a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna start with my wallet. Then we may try dipping this just to see what happens. I have my wax prepared over here. This is a, just a dollar store crock pot I found. I'm lucky enough to have bees on my property so we don't have a shortage of wax. And I can go ahead and just dip this in this hot wax. We've got it out here and that wax is hardened <laughs> to a perfect sheen on here. This thing is just thick with wax. This is too much. Uh, we don't want this much on here. I've got some, some of this gunk on here is just the, um, some of the stuff that was in the wax. We can just wipe that right off. So I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, this is, this is too much wax. So what we're gonna do is we'll take this to the oven and I'll put it on low temperature and set this in there with a the tray underneath it and let this wax, this excess wax that's on the surface melt off or soak in to this leather. And we'll leave it in there for about an hour. And when we come get it out, it should be pretty clean looking, something similar to uh, what we have here. It buffed up to a pretty nice sheen. I like it. I I think I'm gonna try it on the 
on the holster uh, sheath. The question is, will a lot of movement on this knife change the shape of this? I think that what I'll do is soak it in the leather and then um, right when it comes out of the oven, I'm gonna put the, throw this knife in the sheath and run over it with the antler again, just to make sure that this form is gonna hold. And then I'll let it cool with the knife in the sheath and we'll see, we'll see what happens. I think it's worth a try. Oh man, I can't believe I'm doing this. Guess we'll never know unless we try it, huh? You know what, I like how this turned out a lot. Um, one thing that I really like is how it's made these stitches really stand out uh, when compared to the regular veg tan. I like it a lot. I'm gonna let this leather cool down and then I'll try pulling this knife a few times and just see how this sheath holds form and uh, yeah I I'm happy with that I may do that more often we'll see well after letting this cool down to room temperature we can draw this knife oh it's a tight fit oh you can see that crease that change in the color as I pulled the knife out there Watch as I push it in, follow that movement of the corner of the knife. It's still a really nice tight fit. It seems to be holding shape just fine. Um, yeah. And that wax actually makes it really grippy. Um, I think it'll work. I think it's gonna be fine. Only time will tell in use of this sheath. I like the look. I think it has a, a rustic look to it. Almost like it was dyed, but not quite. It's more of a natural color and I like it. I think I am gonna do this with more of my projects. I don't know if I'll do it with every one of them, but I mean, this leather is waterproof now it's so soaked with wax i could probably use it as a makeshift flask <laughs> so yeah i think it's worth giving it a try if you guys have some wax and you want to run to the thrift store and get an old crock pot throw some wax in there and maybe try dipping some of your leather projects and see how they turn out Thanks for watching, guys.